Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to add some OEM information uh, to your Windows 11 computer. So that way if this is a work environment you want your users to be able to contact you or see your company name or phone number, uh, they could find that in the settings. So normally if you go to the uh, settings here, and then system, about, you'll have your device specifications and Windows specifications, and that's about it. So what you could do, is we have this uh, registry edit here, let me open this up to show you what it does. So it's going to add this uh, key here and then add these strings underneath that key. So you could go in here and make that key and add these uh, string values individually if you want, or you could just uh, run this reg file. So what I'll do is I'll copy and paste this whole text here. Uh, you could paste it into a notepad file and then just be sure to save it as a .reg instead of .txt so you could run it. So then when you run it, just say run, yes, say yes to add it to the registry, and then okay. And then if you have your settings open, you'll have to close them and reopen them to take effect here. So we'll go back to about. So now we have the support section here with information that was in the registry file, and then a clickable link for the website, like so. So pretty simple, and then if you want to get rid of it, what you could do, let me go to the uh, file again. You copy this uh, address here. Run reg edit again. Paste it in there. And you could delete this whole OEM information key. So now we go back to settings and about. So now it's gone. And then of course you could go there and also edit those strings if you need to change anything. So that's another thing you could do. So in Windows 10, I think there's some other strings that'll work such as the uh, model and I think you could upload a logo. So I'll see if I could find those um, keys and just kind of put them in the description so you could play with those as well if you're trying this on Windows 10. But otherwise, like I said, just you know, copy and paste this into a text file, uh, name it .reg, run it, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.